Heap, we understand how difficult it can be navigating a new tool. So we've created this short walkthrough. Let us guide you through the app so you can spend your time finding the answers to your questions, not where things are. Starting on the top left, you'll see what environment and project you're currently in. If you need to switch either, simply click and select from here. Moving down this left-hand menu, you will see Dashboard. Dashboards will be where you default upon logging into Heap and are an accumulation of different reports that have been saved in the account. If you have different dashboards saved, you can switch between them by clicking and selecting here. Your dashboard is full of reports. Reports allow you to see and filter through all of the shared reports in the account. Additionally, there will be an option called Personal that contains all of the private reports that were saved to your own personal space. You can search through reports by using keywords and filter through them as well. Additionally, you will find our suggested reports in this tab. Suggested reports are a great tool to leverage when familiarizing yourself with how Heap works and can provide great guidance on what questions to ask and what to define in your own account. The Analyze tab is where you build your different analysis modules or reports in Heap. Using one of these six analysis modules, this is where you can find the answers to your questions in the application. Each report allows you to discover something different about your users. For guidance on how to use each of these analysis modules, check out our Heap documentation, which can be found in the description of this lesson. The last option in this tab is Query, which allows you to see the most recent reports that have been run in your shared account. Define is where you can look through existing events, build segments, which essentially is bucketing users for analysis, see and create properties, which is detailed data about users and their events, access our event visualizer, which is an easy way to create event definitions from your site or app, and find the live view, which allows you to see all of the activity happening on your app or site. Search through events, segments, and properties by using keywords in the search bar or filter through them here. Click into one to understand what specifically makes up the event, segment, or property. Connect an external source to integrate with Heap via Capture to enrich your data. The more information you know about your users, the more complex analysis you can do in Heap. If you're sending information into a data warehouse like Snowflake or Redshift, or are planning on leveraging webhooks, you can do so in this Activate tab. And finally, we have the Account tab. This is where you can access your settings and any updates from the Heap team. In Settings, you can invite teammates, create projects, exclude IPs, update your own account info, and more. Whenever we at Heap have made any changes to the platform, we will list them off in this Updates tab. For more information on how to leverage any of the tools and features in this walkthrough, check out our Heap documentation or reach out to us at training at heap.io.